What is going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today I'll give you guys my recommendations of what you should spend your legendary marks on come the weekly reset the 11th of April 2017. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like is much, much appreciated. And also guys, remember to be in with a chance of winning my weekly emblem giveaway. Simply drop a comment down below in that comment section. Okay, so straight up, straight away, head to that, van, uh, that Crucible Quartermaster, not Vanguard, Crucible Quartermaster. And check out his palindrome. Look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy. We've got Sure Shot, we've got Outlaw, we've got Hammer Forge, and we've got Luck in the Chamber. Okay, fair enough, it hasn't got Reinforced or Rifled Barrel, but it has got Hammer Forge, which is a range perk, which is actually okay. We've got a Reload perk, and we've also got Luck in the Chamber. I mean, it's not the best roll, but it's up there with the best rolls, so. Probably, you know, guys, probably just spend your marks on this bad boy. Now, he hasn't actually got anything else that decent. I was going to say take a look at the party favor, but after having a double look at it, I mean, it just, both of these reduce its ammo size, which is pretty bad, to be honest. Um, but it has got two stability perks. It's got Rogio and we've got Counterbalance. But the, the fact that these reduce its already small magazine, well in my opinion 24 is ridiculously small for something that shoots so quick and you just burn through them, I'd probably say give that a skip people, I really would. Now nothing else here is um, amazing to be honest, there's nothing um, incredible, I mean the sniper rifle's okay, I mean we've got ambush on this, we've got uh, spray and play, faster reload, we've got classic mag for more uh, magazine, uh, well bigger magazine size and we have unflinching so it's not too bad I suppose but I'm guessing there will be better snipers on off and I'm probably guessing you've already got a better sniper to be honest. Okay so we're going to skip to the vanguard and see if there's anything there. Okay so we are at the vanguard quarter master, look at this dude here, arcane, is that Kirby? Arcane Kirby. Get out of my side motherfucker! Okay, so, you know what, people? You know what? There's actually a decent few weapons here as well. Damn, we're going to have to grind them legendary marks this week because take a look at this Parthian shot. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Stability, stability, fucking stability. We've got counter balance. We've got perfect balance. And we've got secret ground or take a knee, which also improves stability, which I don't... Well, well who uses take a knee? I don't think anyone uses take a knee. But secret ground... Perfect balance, counterbalance, or rifled barrel. This thing will wreck people. I've got one of these, and it's only got any, um, I think it's brace frame. Hasn't got perfect balance, and it hasn't got counterbalance, and the thing's stability is actually quite decent, and it easily two-shot kills people. So, with perfect balance and counterbalance, or counterbalance and rifled barrel with secret round, this thing is going to absolutely destroy it, really is. Um, so, you know what, guys? Parthian shot as well. Coming with me, baby. And also, look at this, the Continental. This thing is stability, stability, stability. Counterbalance, perfect balance, rodeo. What is going on this week? I mean, sights ain't incredible, but still, still. Damn, you know what? I'm going to have to pick this one up as well. Because this will be a laser beam. And it's actually a decent archetype of uh, auto rifle. To say the least, it's actually quite decent. So it's going to, oh, I'm going to waste a lot of marks this week. I really am. I better get grinding. Okay, and we also got as well the Teacup Tempest, which if you like sidearms, this is actually a good sidearm. It really is. The only thing that lets it down, in my opinion, is its small magazine size, but it's still actually quite powerful. And on this week, we've got a Fast Draw, we've got Quick Draw, we've got Steady Hand, we've got Mulligan, Crowd Control, Lightweight, Fitted Stock, and Hot Swap. I'd probably go with Hot Swap, Lightweight, and probably Crowd Control. But then again, Mulligan for something so small is actually decent. But it's a decent, decent Teacup Tempest. If you're not interested in anything else I've mentioned, the Palindrome, the Parthian Shot, the Continental, and you're after a actually an okay um, sidearm, then a Teacup Tempest may be for you. Now, before you actually go and spend in the new marks, um, we're going to check out a few of the other vendors, so... Stay tuned, stay tuned, don't spend any marks yet. Okay guys, so we are at Dead Orbit and it doesn't really have much in terms of weapons to offer. Uh, nothing amazing anyway. The Keystone, I mean, isn't too bad for say a PvP roll. I mean, it is an absolute monster of a scout rifle and it absolutely murders. We've got an Equip Draw or Armor Pierce Rounds, Perfect Balance and Crowd Control. Nothing incredible, but it's actually 
a really powerful and it's actually the same archetype as a Jade Rabbit from the PlayStation. Um, and if you're an Xbox user like me, you're never going to get to use that thing because by the time we get our exclusives, I'm sure Destiny 10 will be out. But yeah, so the Keenstone's okay, but nothing else here is actually that good. Now, this Ghost Shard is actually tier 12 compatible, but it is Discipline Strength, as you can see. So yeah, um, it's up to you, but you have to be a, a, a allegiance with Dead Orbit to actually buy these. So. And something I'm going to be doing to be honest and then we have these gauntlets as well which are also tier 12 compatible but they're also discipline strength so yeah um, then we've got this ending clock which is again it's tier 12 compatible and I put the stats on screen for you guys um, to see what you actually need or what's needed to actually be tier 12 compatible so yeah okay so now we are future my fucking walk on let's see what she has let's see what she has Okay, so the class item right here is tier 12 compatible. That's a max stat um, class item 35 intellect 25 discipline equals 60 max what you can get on a class item. So pick this motherfucker up if you're with future walker and you need a class item max uh, goal intellect discipline. You may as well. Nothing else here um, in terms of armor um, offers a tier 12 compatible role. This ghost shell here does though, this um, just about scrapes tier 12 compatibility, so if you need a ghost shell as well and you're in allegiance with future war cult, this is the one you need right here. Okay, so weapons, there's not much amazing here besides this one, the waltz. Now the waltz is the same archetype of uh, pulse rifle as the clever dragon, the grasper malak, and we all know they tear shit up. Even after their recent nerf from Bungie, they're still incredible. And this one has counterbalance, perfect balance, and high caliber rounds. This will absolutely wreck faces in PvP, it really will. Now, this may be another weapon I purchased this week. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! So, yes, guys, the Waltz, if you are a fan of pulse rifles, fast firing ones, get into allegiance with these bad boys and get this. Now, this Wormwood as well isn't too bad we've got two range perks on this we've got range finder we've got hand loaded which isn't the best range perk but we also have snapshot or armor piercing rounds um so yeah guys this would be quite good as well for the sidearm the worm was actually got a quite a reputation for being a beast and not personally used a decent rolled version of it but yes um i can understand i've been killed by it quite a few times now what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to skip to new monarchy and see what they got Okay guys, so we're at New Monarchy, and to be honest, I've got nothing amazing weapon-wise, um, unless you're after a heavy machine gun. I mean, the first Citizen 9, it's actually got quite a decent roll on it. I mean, it's got full, it's one of the full rare fire ones, but we've got extended mag, we've got perfect balance or crowd control, and we've got hidden hand. Um, got a little bit of a, a extra impact and range there with field choke as well. But yeah, um, other than this, there's nothing else here weapon-wise, which is that great to be honest. I mean, the class item is just about tier 12 compatible, and all three gold shells are. I think that is more or less. It's more or less. It's 59 out of 60 there, so more or less perfect world gold shell here with new monarchy. But these are all three tier 12 compatible. So if you want intellect discipline, if you want intellect strength, there you go. Um, but guys, that is it for a recommendation video. Um, if I was you guys, definitely pick up that palindrome, the waltz, the Parthian shot. There's so many good weapons this week to purchase. Um, I better get grinding. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you out. Thanks as always for stopping by. Do smash that like button. I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny. Hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to turn on email notifications so you never miss a video. And I will, as always, guys, catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right, left in the dark.